And APB, American Protection Bureau, voted number one best on Long Island for all your security needs. Call 631-390-9050. That's 631-390-9050. APB. Oh, with the company? I never know with, with Dolph Ziggler. Von, right. Von Wagner, free agent. So this this kind of leaded into nothing. something else I wanted to talk to you about, right? Yeah. So we, we always talk about greatest wrestlers, this, that, and everything else, right? Who is a needle mover? And what I mean about needle mover, um, I mean that you know they're going to be at a card. You mm-hmm. have to go. You know they're at a signing. You have to go. I'm not the best guy to answer. Are they the biggest? And are they the big draw? Okay, just put it this way: Are they the big draw? I don't care if you my think personal they're the, feelings or what they did historically. I need, I need your personal feelings and historically. Okay. Okay. I'm going to name some wrestlers. I want you to be exactly how you feel. But were they a big draw? Okay. I'll open up with Ric Flair. I believe Ric Flair over his career had. Plenty of times where he was a big draw. Um, would I have run to go see Ric Flair wrestle? Maybe in his prime, but I, we were never in that position because WCW very rarely, if ever, if almost never came here anyway. I will say this. Ric Flair was the perfect NWA champion for that model. He was. Right? The model of the traveling bad guy who takes on your favorite Flair wrestler was, in your area. Was fucking so great. I'm in W I'm a WCCW guy in yeah. Texas, right? Uh-huh. I'm a huge Kerry Von Erich fan. And Rick's coming in. Rick's coming in. Oh, you're going. You want it but it's but the, my point is is it Rick is it the belt or is it that the belt and Rick are defending against your favorite person who you want to see? Well, here's the ultimate compliment to Rick as a champion, the belt and the person were one. Okay. So we're going to say Flair was a major Fuck draw. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Good enough. Ricky Steamboat Definitely a draw. Major draw? That's debatable. I would never run to go see Ricky Steamboat, but I'm I'm not a, I'm not, you know, a mark or, or for Ricky. Do I think Ricky Steamboat was one of the great all-time wrestlers? Yes, I do. That put to side. We always we got to shelf that. Of course that, he right? was. Ricky Steamboat, uh, in my opinion, was not a major draw. He was a perfect compliment. Not on the to level the of Ric Flair. Fuck no. He was a perfect compliment to mm-hmm. some of the major players in the business. He sure was. He sure. I do consider him main event material, though. Main event? We're not talking. We're talking draw. Like so, right. Main event. I would, understand about, look, where you're Madison going with Square this. Garden. The main event I is Ricky Steamboat against. Rick Flair, mm-hmm. where all we've said this a million times, all the wrestling fans say the greatest right. wrestler matches ever. Bullshit. And what is sold out the garden? Dude, they didn't even sell out 3,000 people. I know. It's messed up. You know, it's messed up. I will argue that to the days come home. I'm That's sorry. It's the truth. It's the truth. That means in Chicago, where mm-hmm. AEW at least gets 8,000 people, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. think about this Chicago. Right. 5,000 people. <laughs> It's bad, man. Chicago's like New York. That's it. That's people. really bad. Yeah. So you yeah. can see how great it was, but right. it wasn't that great. Yeah. So in summary, Ricky Steamboat might have been a main event type guy, but he certainly wasn't like, you know, drove, driving. It's a million main event type guys. Right. But yeah. uh, here comes another one. Superstar Billy Graham. Main event type guy. That's that's rough. Uh, no, not like Ric Flair. No. And his main event draw was isolated to the East Coast. Right, which is a problem. It's a problem. And once he left the East Coast, think about it. Like, he was in Florida, Georgia. He didn't do anything. He didn't do Jack. Nothing happened. Didn't the whole Jack. The whole Superstar Billy nope. Graham thing fell on its 1977, face. 1977, Madison Square Garden, Superstar Graham, over. Everything else, not so much. So this will go back to when everybody talks about how Vince Sr. dropped the ball and could have ran with Graham for a while. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. No way. He right. knew. No way. Graham was not a sustainable champion. Yep, number one is attitude. Number two, if the guy couldn't draw yep. in Florida after he leaves the WWF, right, and he can't draw in Florida and yep. can't draw in, in Georgia, right. Come on, then. Yeah, I agree. And again, let's not forget, superstar Billy Graham had it, right? Right? Like, yeah, he did. He had it. Like, whoa, but not that. Mm-hmm. Dusty Rhodes made of it. People did get in their cars and drive, flock to go see Dusty Rhodes. I'm not bending on this one. Dust, uh, dust, I, I'm Dusty gonna, Rhodes. I agree with you 100%. So, so far, Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes, and that makes perfect sense. 
Are you serious? Mitch, Mitch says disagree. I don't know which one he disagrees with. Tell either. us, Mitch. Dusty, is, is, do you disagree with Dusty Rhodes or you disagree on Superstar Billy He's probably Billy talking Graham. about Superstar Billy Graham. I think he's saying that Dusty Rhodes wasn't a major oh, draw. Oh, Dusty Rhodes was totally a major draw. He All was. right. I'm serious about this one. Mm -hmm. Marty Jannetty. And, you know, I thought I'd bring it up since he's in the studio. Yeah. Was he a major draw? Now, again, I'm not saying Marty Jannetty as the singles wrestler. Maybe Marty Jannetty is a rocker. No, not no, not not on the level of Ric Flair or Dusty Rhodes. Or, Fair enough. No, not even Superstar Graham or Ricky Steamboat. No. I mean, I, honestly, that's a softball. Yeah, uh, it was. Mitch Seinfeld, Superstar Graham. He disagreed. Yeah, with. that's what I thought. That's fine, but keep in mind, Mitch. Once again, 1977, New York. Yes, that was the da dude. I get it. The guy was absolutely a super stud. But the, look at the body of work everywhere else. No, Ric Flair did this for decades. Superstar Billy Graham did not do this for decades. All he right, didn't. next next up, Val Venus. Again, in studio, just bringing it up. No. Okay. No. I mean, even yeah, though I always balls. dug the character, gotta give you some softballs. Always dug the character, but no. All right, Hulk Hogan. Oh, stop. This is the biggest softball of all. Well, this is the greatest draw. This of is all. the it's the greatest draw of all. End time. of story. I heard he's a nice guy too. He is a very nice guy. Dick. Really good oh, guy. I hate you. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Everything about him. Softball. Yeah, oh, well, it's over the fence. Triple H. Oh. Oh. No. Nope. ESO says the Midnight Rockers drew in the AWA. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they did. The Rockers were a draw, but they were very quick. Mitch uh, says, remember, you can only do what they let you do. Okay, so then he says, forget the whole Mitch list. Seinfeld, <laughs> I agree, <laughs> and I think they should have turned him and let him carry the belt a bit longer. That would have been interesting. Again, again, I'm going to say this. I agree with Farrow. Yeah. He did not translate anywhere no. but up here. He now, is this the big time up here? Yes. Right. But again... But there was other you, big time places it, back it, in those it, days. Exactly. And you would think that if the WWF champion former champion came to your area mm -hmm. boy you were gonna flock to see right. him and he was an afterthought right because guess what not only did he not translate with his character his gimmick didn't work down there his style his promos that whole oh and by the way you know who was able to go and defend his belt everywhere and it was always filled up believe it or not bob fucking backland that's right didn't matter where he went. Right. He always wrestled in front of a huge crowd. But I wouldn't say he's a traitor. Jason but, Morning no, says Ultimate Warrior. Yeah, that's a main event. Yeah, that's a guy who got people to Jason, jump in the Jason, that's a good point. That I'm going gonna, gonna to go with that. Hey, while we're at it, Goldberg. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Goldberg. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Dummy. Yeah. All right, so on Triple H, you said no, right? Yeah, what do you think about that? I agree. I agree. Listen, man, you know what? Triple H might have been the MVP of the Attitude Era, but it was the Rock and Stone Cold. This is the toughest you know, one of them all. It. Yeah. This is a very tough one. I want you to think about it. Yeah. Undertaker. Yes. I don't even have to think about it. Main event draw, absolute massive. You know how I Running know, to go get his you, autograph. You know how? He, he's the Undertaker. Yeah. Yeah. He's the Undertaker. You know how I knew that the other... He's going to sound silly... But how I knew that The Undertaker was great, just like an affirmation, got Barton to wrestling maybe seven, eight, nine years ago. Right. Showed him so many different matches, so many classics. This dude, that dude, check out this guy, check out that guy. At the end of the day, Undertaker. I was like, really? I was like, I showed you all these awesome matches. He's like, nope, man, it's The Undertaker. Lou says, uh, Warrior greater than Goldberg. Interesting parallel. I like the debate. They're both in a similar rocket starship through the, through the heavens. There's, there's some really good comments here. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, very good comments. ESO says Jake the Snake, question mark. No. no yeah, fucking I'm going to go with no. No. Yeah, I'm going to go with no. Again, great wrestler, Re superstar, totally but not over. the main guy. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, wait a minute, I just saw something. Undertaker, Moose yes. says Warrior outdrew Hogan in 89. Okay, that's fair. Congratulations for 1989. That's what it. Did Kiss, what did Gene Simmons say to Peter Chris? Oh, you wrote Beth, congratulations. What about your other 99 at bats? Right, that, well, you're right. You know, and he was right. Listen, was totally Warrior right. was hot for that time. He but was. we're talking it's about great. biggest great. draws. Right. Like if I said Road Warriors. Oh. Yes. Oh, 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 yeah. If I said Demolition. 
Not the same as the Road nope, Warriors, but, but I'm still running to go see them. We would, but in but they're general, not the road they're warriors. fillers. I agree. Right? Well, not, I'm not agreeing to fillers, but they're not the Road if Warriors. If I said Midnight Express. No. 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 Rock and Roll Express. No. 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 Again, isolated area, isolated territory, worldwide? No. Kerry Von Eric. No. 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 Mr. Perfect. Oh, that hurts. No. Because talk about... Greg bigger... Valentine! No. Not Don Morocco! What if I said the greatest tag team in the I world by list. titles? Yeah. The, the Dudley boys. No. No way. No. All right, last. Roman Reigns. Acknowledge me. You answered the question right there. So for all, look, I know we're very pro Roman Reigns here. But wait, that wait, answers. Have you, have you seen my script? It's like my belt. There you go. The ones. Roman Dude, Reigns is money. He is. Cha fucking Chang. That's it. That's it. He's the man. And I hope that he goes for years. Mitch Seinfeld said Cody, Jimmy Snuka. So again, no, I'm going to say this. Great for two right, years or right. a year yeah, here in a WWE. Big draw. Can't hang I will say this. On... With Jimmy, TV, yeah. and I'm sure everybody uh, watching feel, felt the same love way. Love Snuka. You watched wrestling on Saturdays. We're talking body of work more yeah, no, so but, than anything But here. you not, watched not... just to see him do the super fly. Oh, it was great. Right? Right. But, but no. not drawing millions no, of people. not for decades. Like some of these guys. Were... Ric Flair was a main event guy for decades. Here's a great Dusty one. Dusty Rhodes Here's was. Here's a great one. Yeah. Roddy Piper. Yes. I agree. I am running to go see Roddy Piper. Absolutely. Transcending mofo they live. Absolutely. RJ Hudson, very good point. Wait, Roman yeah. Reigns, 2020 to now, yeah. Insane. But before, he wasn't a draw. So I will say this. When did I? When was the last time I went to a wrestling match? 2019? Oh, wow. When were we in the other studio? 1918? Uh, yeah, who knows? I will tell you, me yeah. personally, yeah, you went to go I Roman. went to go see Roman you know as funny? much as everybody hated him. In yeah. fact, I'm very yeah. proud. I took two pictures during that card. Right. I took Sasha Banks with right. her mm -hmm. beautiful right. buttocks oh, showing. Sasha Banks. And I got a buttocks. great pose of Roman on the rope right. doing the finger deal, uh, right? Let me also hammer home, too. That not only has Roman Reigns been what we're saying he's been for the last three years, he was in the greatest faction since the NWO. That's before true. That, the Shield. That's okay, true. Okay, so let's not downplay what happened to Roman Reigns before this. Roman Reigns was awesome. B40 says Kevin Nash. No way. Sorry, B40. No. B40, I love you, man, but Kevin Nash. Hey, no. No, no. Here's an interesting one. And guess what, Jay? Since you brought up Jay Will, yeah. okay, and Benny. Yeah. Because you guys are saying this. We got. They said Tommy Rich and Rock and Roll Express. You enjoy. I'm going to no, tell you what. No. I'm going to ask Tommy I Rich love tomorrow. Tommy Rich too, no. I love Tommy Rich. No. Tommy Rich could not make it up here. I wish he had tried. If you can't he didn't even make want it to. up, but whether you want to, he didn't to, even want to. Listen, I but, like Tommy. Whether he didn't want this to. has not. Look, I'll I understand into, what you're I saying. I love my boy. I love, I love Tommy. It. But guess what? If Vince really were coming calling. Right. Tommy yeah. Rich would have left Probably would have figured out, like, well, God dang. So I you can tell him. yourself one thing. Yeah, I know. But the facts are the other. And we're going to challenge him with that tomorrow. Right. Because the question will Vince be, and you'll Tommy hear. would have made Tommy lift weights. Yeah. Tommy would have been like, I just want to lift this beer. Leave me alone. Dude, can I tell you something? A simple thing that Tommy Rich just could have done. Yeah. And maybe he did, and you could correct me. Okay. Just grow goatee and become a bad guy. That would have been interesting. Tommy should have flipped out and gone nuts. Instead, on you in WCW and the, uh, the that, perfect that thing. golden boy forever. All right. Well, it worked for him. It worked for him. RJ Hudson says that he thought Evolution was better than the Shield. Wow, Evolution was pretty good. They were pretty good, but they didn't have the run that the Shield had. They were very good, though. I think that the Shield got them beat. Jay Will says Tommy would not have drawn in the WWE. No, mm -hmm. not at all. Listen, right. all those guys that came up, wrestling number two, mm -hmm. spoiler, who I love. <clears throat> you know what I love about the Shield? It was the fact that all of them came up unknowns. Look at the careers that got sure. launched with those three. Sure. The Shield was great. You know what always impressed me about them, too? They were great. They felt they had to hook them up with Punk to try to get them over in the beginning. Right. Quickly, right. someone realized they didn't need Punk, and they pulled out of didn't that whole thing right away. Well, Vince probably realized that. I bet you this is going to piss off Phil when I yank his idea away from him. I quit! <laughs> I can see it. 
I could see it. Jay Will says Tommy Rich and Buzz Sawyer fill up the army of sixteen thousand people. Sure I they always did. wanted to sure go to the army. Sure they did. I would have loved to have seen it. Good for a year or two. I think it was two years. He said they beat the shit out of each other. Hold okay. on. No, we're, see, we're, I guess we're missing the point. The feud filled the Omni. Right. Tommy Rich against Ole Anderson wouldn't have filled the Omni. Right. Hulk Hogan, Ole Anderson, I don't care. Hogan. Would have filled Madison Square Garden. Of course Ole Anderson comes up here and he gets in a few. That I mean, effing Harley Race, who was totally out of shape, filled couldn't the, wrestle anymore, filled the garden with, filled the garden with, with, with Hogan. Backwood. With Hogan. Yeah, with ba right, later. Right. Right. And with Backlund, too, back in the day. R.J. Okay. Hudson, is CM Punk a draw? Yes. Sorry. People running to go see him punk? These idiots are still running to see him. I, I disagree. Not I, you gonna, and me, but. I'm going to disagree with no, you. No, I think that punk was. He had his time. I think that punk was the same way Goldberg was. He was a meteor in the sky. I'm sorry. Terry, uh, John says Terry Funk. Oh, I wish, but no. No. I love Terry Funk. I hate Again, I, being a great painful. wrestler and being a fan Ernie of Ernie Ladd. No. I love Ernie Ladd. Right. No. It is what it is. Ugh. Maria rough. Davis says, yes, and that's it. Jay Will, Junkyard Dog was a huge draw in the Mid-South. JYD yes. Butcher, yes, he was. Yes. And he was a huge draw up here. But I think but again, people want, what we're trying to yeah. get at here. These right. are, these are. Were you great draws? Ric Flair. Junkyard Dog. Right. Dusty Rhodes. Junkyard Dog. That's what, that's what we're trying to, Hulk Hogan. We're trying to, you that's, know. That's right. I got it. I mean, we're not asking for your personal Now preference. I agree with this. I mean, no, I B40, B40 preference. says I am Mike Sharp. I am Mike Sharp. Oh, no. I, ran, I ran. I ran to see I Iron Mike Sharp. I to know what Damn was in straight. His, what was in You know, before the, I'm going with Iron Mike Sharp. because Frankie I, Williams. I went to Madison Square Garden to see Iron Mike Sharp against uh, Morocco because I wanted to see that match. Frankie Williams. So I'm going with Iron Mike Frankie, Frankie Williams. Williams. He tried. He, tried really, he tried, hard. tried really hard. Really hard. He did try I'm hard. there. I am there. Fuji salt packet. Oh, I was there for the salt packet. That uh, guy gave a that salt packet right, before, gave a killer interview on the show. Did you hear it? Is Terry Funk in the Hall of Fame? No. Terry he Funk should be in the he freaking be. Hall of Fame. Wait, the Funk brothers are in the Hall of Fame. Of course they are. I think they are. They yeah. snuck Dory in too. They snuck Dory in. Yeah. Yeah. How Dory's still alive, I have no clue. You know what's amazing? Scott Hall spent his whole life calling Dory Bory right. and getting away with it. The Funk should have paid him a visit. Dude, I uh, I, I filmed um, SOB Sports yesterday, and okay. uh, PN News wasn't on. It was just Mike Mantor. Okay. And, you know, he likes to talk about sports, but somehow we just started talking about wrestling. Mm -hmm. And what he said about Scott Hall, because we went into Kevin Nash on Click This last week, uh, basically said that Mike Mantor mm -hmm. was a really nice guy. But, boy, did Scott Hall, like Scotty, Slapped the shit out of him. Right. And um, we got to get out of here anyway. But uh, Okay. Um, I, ha I find that hard to believe. So so my point, I asked Mike, I'm like, you know, yeah. does this make you feel different now about Kevin or does it make you feel different about Scott? Yeah. And he said it doesn't make him feel different about Kevin, but he'll always hate Scott Hall. And not just because of what happened in the ring that night. Right. He just talked about Scott Hall just not being a decent human being well he said scott was good to people like i go how could you hate him so much right but he was like kevin's best friend right and he said when scott wasn't intimidated by you he was a very friendly guy right he was okay he was a good guy to get along with i guess but when he was intimidated by you he tried to hurt. He'd haze the shit he, out. But of he you. went. But the thing is, he got people we've fired. We've heard this before. Yeah, but, we've but heard this you're, before. You're, you're ruining people's just, lives, right? Right. Yeah, he didn't care. He didn't care. That's obvious. You know, we saw the different sides of Scott. We saw Scott in a great mood, and we saw Scott in a you know go f yourself mood. Benny Scott says, "Good comment. Every territory at its top draw. Very few Hogan, Flair, Dusty of could draw. Yeah, but that's what we're talking that's about. The top point. draw. Thank you. Road Warriors. Thank you, Road Warriors would come up here to New Jersey oh, and, and, and they, 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 would run out there to go sure see them. Right? Would. But have you seen the price of gas, fucking Reagan? <laughs> what do you mean I got to pay for gas to go there? I don't like this article in Newsday. I'm just gonna change this, and I'll change this." And this <laughs> fucking Steve Jacobson. Before <laughs> I read it to my wife who doesn't understand English because I bought her from Korea. Oh, Evan, it's good. It. It's good. 
<laughs> it's good. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Don't forget, we got Marty Janetti, Maria Davis, you're on the board. I got to go check who else is on the board. Ask Marty anything. Right after that, we have uh, Val Venus, and then we've Eugene? got Ma and Eugene, and then Manny Fernandez, and then finishing up a wildfire. And it, maybe if we're lucky enough, there'll be an appearance by Eric Sims. What? Yeah. Why would we do that? I don't know. You saw the mug. You, prediction. Will you and Eric shake hands tomorrow? I don't know, and I don't care. What's the difference? Can you at least make a prediction? I predict that Eric will come Spidey, in here. Spidey, will they shake hands tomorrow? They will not. I'm going to go with that. They will not shake hands. Well, it, it, the little tip was is I don't care. That might have tipped Spidey <laughs> off a little bit. Send us on our way, guys. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Spidey, send us out of here. Say something. Send us out, Spidey. We'll see you tomorrow. Later. He did it. Later.